Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I'm bringing you a video going over the huge 10.1 changes that were just announced. There were both PvE and PvP changes, so I'm going through all of them. There's also some like interrupt nerfs, some CC nerfs, so I'm just going to go through everything and hopefully, you know, give my thoughts on what I, uh, what I think the changes are. Let's jump right into it. So these are the PvE changes, which I assume also apply to PvP. Um, this right here is probably, I'm not going to lie, this is the worst change I've seen from Miss Weaver. This, I, this is the one change I saw. I haven't seen all the changes. This is the one change I saw, and I'm absolutely gutted. This is not a P. This is not for PVE. This is for PVP. I maybe they think we have too much. I don't too much tools. Too many tools. I don't know. But what this means is Song of Chiji right here, um, in the Mistweaver tree is now being moved to right here. So you're gonna have to choose between Ring of Peace or Song of Chiji. So we will no longer have Ring of Peace and song and it is absolutely in my opinion one of the worst changes you can make from miss weaver i cannot believe they're doing that it's so much fun because even right now it's not like miss weavers are good it's not like we're good and in song of gg is not contributing to us like at all we're, we're bad even having both of them so now we're going to have just have one less tool now we'll have one less tool we'll have one less cc or we'll have one less you know interrupt to anything with ring of peace so I'm kind of sad about this change. I really hope they revert it. I'm very, very sad about it. Moving on to more Mistweaver changes. A developer note, Ancient Teachings is a primary piece of Mistweaver's healing toolkit in Dragonflight, but its previous design was unreliable, which I agree with. It's just an RNG heal, depending on who it heals. A single rising sun kicks targeting could sometimes determine life or death for an ally. Absolutely. That level of variance between results, that level of variance between results on healing out of your direct control wasn't healthy for the specialization. Our goal is to land somewhere in the middle. A single rising sun kick likely shouldn't save an ally on its own, but it also shouldn't condemn them either. This new design is more dynamic and capable of handling a variety of healing profiles, and we feel will offer greater reliability for Mistweaver's consistent healing. We'll be monitoring feedback on this change as PTR progresses. So what the change is, is Angie Teachings has been redesigned. After casting Essence Font or Feline Stomp, your Tiger Palm, Black Hill Kick, and Rising Sun Kick heal up to 5 injured allies within 30 yards for 150% of the damage done. Split evenly among them. Last 15 seconds. So split evenly among them. Right now, uh, where's uh, where is it? Right here. All it does is it will heal... One person heals one injured ally within 30 yards for 150% of the damage done. And this will heal five injured allies within 30 yards for 150. Wait, is that's that's kind of insane for raids and mythic plus. This is kind of a this reads like a nerf for PvP. But yeah, um this is interesting. I kind of like that they're making it kind of a smart. They could have just made it a smart deal. I guess, um, but I guess this, this, I think this would be really good for PVE. Um, you're going to have less burst healing, I feel like, with Rise. Because if you right now, if you do like a 60k Rising Sun Kick, that's 150k heal. So that heals somebody for 150k. But instead of one person getting healed for 150,000, you're going to have five people being healed for 30,000. Well, if they're all dying. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I guess if one person's dying, they get the whole heal, which is nice, but... I feel like that doesn't happen too often, but it's still nice. That's, I mean, it's nice. Maybe they'll buff the percentage too, which will, it, it would be easier for them to buff it than like what it is now. Cause right now, even in PVP, I don't know if this affects PVP either. Cause in PVP, I'm pretty sure this 150% is like 375%. So I wonder if that's going to affect PVP or if they're going to keep it the same. I don't know. This is pretty cool. I, I don't know how I feel about it. It's going to be a little bit different, but I mean, at least it's, a, kind of a smarter shield, right? So that's kind of nice. Um, burst of life no longer reduces the cooldown or effectiveness of life cocoon healing increased by 30%. So right now, burst of life is right here, and it makes it so life cocoon's cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds, but its absorb amount is reduced by 40%. So it no longer reduces the cooldown or effectiveness of life cocoon. So basically, it's just, uh, it's just a bloom. So when life cocoon expires, you get a uh, huge heal. That heals three new allies, and that heals buff by 30%, which is interesting. Okay, so now that's kind of like, um, that's kind of what we had in BFA. Uh, new talent, Chrysalis, so reduces the cooldown of life by 45 seconds, located on a choice node of Burst of Life. Interesting. So on this node right here, right now, if you PvE, you PvPers have a talent called Chrysalis that reduces the cooldown of life by 45 seconds. So I guess you can't have a triple node. Oh, they're going to get rid of Common Core Lessons. I'm going to be so sad. Okay, so... Let's see. Okay. 
Uh, Chrysalis has been a staple on our talent. Yeah, uh, we feel that feel that this reliance on this talent has been in, indicative indicative of Miss Weaver's lack of external cool on in many forms of content. We're moving this to spec tree to free up an honor talent slot and offer a new PVE relevant option in this choice node. Okay. Uh, with the redesign of HT teams that's more focused on group-wide healing, we're adjusting Vivify's healing profile slightly to increase Miss Weaver's spot healing. So Vivify's primary healing increased by 50% was 20%. <laughs> Invigorating Mist healing reduced by 12%. Oh. So invigorating mist is uh, is it a passive or is it a talent or is it here? Yeah. Uh, so what this means is when you renewing mist people, right? If you have renewing mist on somebody, nobody wants to have renewing mist on them. It doesn't matter. Um, if I heal somebody, Vivify will also heal the people with renewing mist on them. So that got nerfed, I guess, by twelve percent. And then our primary heal for Vivify was increased. That's insane. That's actually insane. So that's that's good single target healing, um, but they nerfed our AOE healing. But I guess they buffed um, ancient teachings of the modest ancient teachings. But if you're not playing ancient teachings, then it's just a, a nerf. Um, Comic core lessons talent has been removed. Oh. oh my god, that is so painful! Wow, I did not. That feels brutal, actually. So it's not going to affect PvE that much. Actually, I don't even think in Mythic Plus or Rage you even use this talent. But in PvP, that feels brutal. So right now in PvP, your life cocoon pretty much just gets wasted. Like it lasts, I don't even know, maybe two globals um, if you don't play Common Coalescence. So I guess Common Coalescence, it's gone. And then they're replacing with Chrysalis. So then we free up an honor talent. So instead of Chrysalis, I, I mean, that's good. Maybe you could play Zen Focus, the Eminence, like Peace Weaver. That's probably what you'll play every game. But I mean, sure. I guess we'll just play Chrysalis every time. But now we lose Common Coalescence. Yeah, I don't know. Because uh, right now I have 21 stacks. My life cocoon is healing for what? It's healing for 335,000. And that's only at 21 stacks. It stacks up to 50. So that's, that, uh, that's a nerf. That is for... I mean, we get honor talent, but like cool now i get my zen focus t you know like i don't know life cocoon that that's that's a pretty big nerf i feel like song chiji has been removed yep that phew, salt in the wound right there revival and restoral now properly over each other in action bar and swapping doesn't really matter um I've, you, you can macro it if you want the macro you can take it but you can just macro them oh hello um invokers invoke yulon and jade serpent and invoke Invoke Yulon the Jade Serpent. Invoke Chiji by creating now properly override each other on your action bar. Same thing. You could just make a macro for it. So I guess overall for these changes right here, it's mostly... I feel like these were mostly PvE related. I, I, I These were definitely mostly PvE related. This is the worst change they've been made to Miss Weaver. Um, kind of pleasantly surprised by Ancient Teachings. I'm interested to see what it does because I know Ancient Teachings does so much healing. So if it's spread out and maybe only two people are dying... You know, maybe it should, maybe it's gonna do a ton of healing now that I think about it. Because if only two people are dying in Mythic Plus or PvP, and you hit like 100k heal and you get 100k heal, it's not a K healing two people, which is actually kind of nice. Um, this is cool. Burst life is good. I mean, I guess it still makes life you can have a tw have a two minute cooldown, and then Chrysalis just makes it some minute 15 cooldown. So this will be good for PvE. Even though I don't know how far out in the PvE tree you go. I don't think you. No, you're probably fine. No, you're probably good. Um, Vivify Primary Heal. I mean, this maybe we just won't fist weave if it's bad and we'll just uh, go to Chaos and Healing. And then, yeah, no, I'm really sad about this one with GG. And then there's PvP changes. So, this is the huge changes right here. They reduced our kick, a lot of people's kick duration. So, now our interrupt duration is, is three seconds instead of four, which I'm totally fine with. Like, that, I'm good with that. I just like getting interrupt on people. Um, but I guess this is for most classes, just, yeah, wind shear duration decreased to two seconds. Oh, my God. And then crowd control they changed for PvP. So, for monks, we we dodged this. We dodged this, man. No in-cap change, no leg sweep change. This is good. Uh, rogues, apparently, their blind duration was decreased to five seconds was eight. Sap duration decreased to six seconds was eight. And then they nerfed kidney shot. Like, they changed a lot. Hex duration reduced to six seconds was eight. So they're just reducing a lot of CC. Stormbolt, this is insane. 
All right, listen. No one, no one let the devs know that monks have a leg sweep, okay? Because Stormbolt got reduced from four seconds to three. So don't tell anyone that we have CC because somehow we ain't on this list. I don't even think Demon Hunters are on this. Oh, Demon Hunter is on the list. All right, we're the only ones not on the list. So don't tell anybody. I, I don't know how we dodge it. And then for monks here in the PvP section, Chrysalis PvP talent removed. Yeah, we yep yeah, removed from the game. Uh, Thunder's Focus T. If they listen to me. If they got rid of my knockback, I'm going to be so sad. Thunder's Focus T PvP talent has been redesigned. Thunder Focus T can now additionally... Okay, ca can cause Crackling Shade Lightning's knockback immediately. Or cause Roll and Cheat Torpedo to refund a charge on use and heal you. It depends on how much healing that does, but that sounds cool. They're getting rid of a PvP talent, adding two. So it kind of seems counterintuitive to just... I don't know. Um... So what that means is Thunder's Focus T right now is a talent that I use against like Warriors and Twos or like RBGs. And what it does is uh, Crackling Jade Lightning has a, a knockback effect on its own without that, where if you if you channel Crackling Jade Lightning and then someone runs towards you and gets a melee range, it'll knock them back. So this just makes it so you have two knockbacks. And then right now it also makes it so Essence Font increases your movement speed by 70% and provide immunity to movement impairing effects. I actually use that in RBGs when I needed to peel out. Um, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, but you see, I'm running, and I had SS5. It didn't last a long time, though, so I actually, I don't blame them. And then you would have the knockback effect, which is, yeah, as long as it stays, that's fine. This uh, isn't a big deal. This isn't a big deal. I think that they kind of noticed, noticed that we don't really use SS5 portion. Pretty cool, though. I mean, having Chi Torpedo is going to be nice, but, you know, Thunder's Fo you're just not going to use this. Uh, new PvP talent, Fey Accord. Fey Line Stomp's cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds? Enemies struck by Fane Line Stomp are snared for 70% for 8 seconds. Oh my god. So we're going to have a 10 second Fane Line Stomp. And a 70% slow on top of that. So now, I so I don't even run Disable. And now, you, you this just frees up a Monk Talent. Because I don't think you're going to need to run Disable. Wow. That is crazy. Maybe if this, if let me tell you something. If this up here is good, if this change up here is good, um, for Miss Weaver, this 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 right here, this rework to ancient teachings, we're gonna be fist weaving full time. Cause right now I have a I have two sets. I have a Miss Weaver set and I have a fist weaver set. I have a oh this is the different monk. Oh no no I have a fist weaving set and I have a Miss Weaving set. So I switch between rounds when I'm queuing into. And let me tell you something, if if we if fist weaving is good like insane because we're also getting instant enveloping mist next patch um i think we're gonna be fist weaving full time depending on that rework 100 percent. we're gonna be fist weaving full time uh my thoughts overall overall changes are pretty solid they're obviously most of the changes are geared towards pve mostly probably towards raids and mythic plus this right here this change absolutely guts me i really hope they revert this change i really really do because then also they got to put a talent here right they got to put something here maybe not i don't know but i really i really 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 hope they revert that change but overall you know i mean we'll see how it goes you know what i mean and whenever i see changes like this we will see how it goes because guess what in pvp there's also a lot of cc getting nerfed a lot of interrupts getting nerfed and guess what miss weaver's biggest biggest weakness is Interrupts and CC. So <laughs> if there's less CC and less interrupts at last, I, I, Miss Weaver should be fine. And then we'll see how ancient teachings go. For PvE, I think you guys should be absolutely buzzing right now if you're PvE. Like, these changes are really, really good. Moving in a great direction. Hopefully, we I don't know if 10.1 is on the beta yet, but hopefully we can get to testing soon. I will be on the beta as well once it opens up or once you know they push any changes and i'll be more than happy to test anything you guys want to see so that is pretty much it for me if you have any questions please let me know i'm only happy to answer any questions you might have this video went longer than i thought it would but that is it hope everyone has a fantastic day hope you do the video i'll see you later